Hello, my name is Kirsty Stewart and I'm an occupational therapist working in the Cerebral Palsy and Movement Disorder Service at the Children's Hospital at Westmead in Sydney, Australia. Let me also introduce my colleagues, Dr Adrian Harvey, a Senior Research Physiotherapist from Melbourne, and Dr Leanne Johnson, a Physiotherapist and Senior Lecturer from the University of Queensland. I'm presenting our paper, A Systematic Review of Scales to Measure Dystonia and Chorioathetosis in Children with Dyskinetic Cerebral Palsy, which appears in the August issue of Developmental Medicine and Child Neurology. Dyskinetic CP is one of the most disabling forms of CP, with a reported incidence across various international registers of between 5 and 15%. It's a motor disorder characterised by changes in muscle tone and posture, with a varying element of involuntary movement. Further research into the true prevalence of dyskinetic CP and its treatment options is required. And this needs greater understanding and agreement on measurement and reporting criteria. A number of tools have been reported in the literature to measure dystonia and chorioathetosis. We undertook this systematic review to identify and critically examine the psychometric properties and clinical utility of tools reported to measure dystonia and chorioathetosis in children with dyskinetic CP. The review identified 34 papers for six scales that are reported to measure dystonia and or chorioathetosis in children with cerebral palsy. In chronological order of their publication, these include the Burt Van Marsden Dystonia Rating Scale, the Barry Albright Dystonia Scale, Unified Dystonia Rating Scale, two Movement Disorder Childhood Rating Scales for different age groups, and the Dyskinesia Impairment Scale. Evidence for validity and reliability was rated using the consensus-based standards for selection of health measurement instruments. This rating is based on the number of studies available, their methodological quality, strength of the data and study findings. The Burke Van Marsden Dystonia Rating Scale was developed for patients with primary dystonia in 1985. It's been used extensively, particularly in adults and in the deep brain stimulation literature. According to the Cosman checklist, it has moderate to limited validity and reliability. Excellent responsiveness to change has been demonstrated in a number of studies with children with cerebral palsy. The Barry Albright Dystonia Scale, based on the Burt Van Marsden, was developed to assess secondary dystonia severity in patients with CP and acquired brain injury. It was the most commonly reported measure in trials involving children with CP. It shows moderate validity and reliability and excellent responsiveness to change across multiple interventions for children with cerebral palsy. The Unified Dystonia Rating Scale was developed by the Dystonia Study Group for use with patients with primary dystonia. Very little literature was available regarding its use for children with CP, as this was not the intended diagnostic group for the tool. It shows limited validity, moderate reliability, and lacks evidence for responsiveness to change, with only one paper reporting its use in a study with children with CP. The Movement Disorder Childhood Rating Scales were developed specifically for children, use with children. They describe the clinical features of different movement disorders, evaluate the intensity of movement disorders in different body regions at rest and on activity, and assess the influence of movement disorder on motor function and select activities of daily living. There was no validity or reliability data available to assess these tools and limited evidence of their responsiveness to change for children with CP. And lastly, the Dyskinesia Impairment Scale was developed by the team in Belgium in 2012. It measures both dystonia and chorioathetosis in dyskinetic CP. It assesses the duration and amplitude of dystonia, or chorioathetosis, on action and at rest. Being a relatively new tool, it still lacks some evidence of reliability and validity, and there was no data regarding its responsiveness to change. In conclusion, all six tools provide some valuable information about dystonia and or chorioathetosis severity in children with cerebral palsy. Only the Barry Albright Dystonia Scale and the Dyskinesia Impairment Scale were developed specifically for cerebral palsy. The Dyskinesia Impairment Scale is the only tool to address chorioathetosis. Psychometrics are limited for all of the tools and further studies are required to examine reliability, validity, responsiveness to change and clinical utility for children with cerebral palsy. The Barry Albright Dystonia Scale can be considered the most clinically useful, while the Dyskinesia Impairment Scale is the most comprehensive, making it a preferred research tool. Thank you.